Hi Frank, hi Barbara. This is Thurl, of course. I wanted to congratulate you both on being named Utah's Humanitarians of the Year. That's pretty big, pretty huge honor, but well deserved. Let me say I wasn't surprised at all. Uh, I first met Frank and Barbara in September of 1982 when I was uh, asked to come and play for the jazz. And uh, Frank and Barbara just welcomed me into, this, into the community. And Frank and Barbara went out of their way to uh, endear the team uh, to the community as well as engaging all the players in helping the community and getting out there and involved in, very, in, in a lot of civic and community events. Well, uh, I first met Frank many years ago when we were trying to solicit, Frank Granado and I were trying to solicit his help for this very event. Catholic Community Services um, yearly dinner was new and we needed some um, uh, name identification. And Frank was quite popular and visible, so we thought we'd try and enlist his support. The first words that came out of Frank's mouth were, how can I help? what can I do to help you out? Um, and I thought that was just uh, really terrific. Uh, that's been his and Barbara's mantra throughout their many activities in the community. Uh, they don't just lend their name, they roll up their sleeves and work. He's always trying to get them to give more and give more back to the community and that's what he was about. He was always trying to give something back to the community regardless of what was going on. And uh, I think there's no one has given as much as he has. What, what Frank did that most impressed me was his, uh, his commitment to the guys that played for him. He was the kind of coach and leader you could call in the middle of the night if you needed some help. Or uh, I recall many times my rookie year where he gave me a ride home after practice. I mean, what coach in the NBA does that now? He felt like that was what Utah deserved is the best, and he tried to give them his best every time he stepped out there with the Jazz. And, Look back when, it, what, when he first came here, he put the team together with Mark Eaton and guys like that, with Mark Eaton, Carl Malone, John Stockton, and those guys have carried it on, and this is, has been a bigger part of the Utah Jazz. And although you were my head coach, uh, you always stressed to all of us about giving of ourselves in the community. I never forgot that. Uh, it's always been a part of me, and I can contribute that from uh, just a great example that you and Barbara have always been towards me. And uh, I just want to tell you that I love you. Congratulations on that award and that honor. And uh, you two are just the greatest. Congratulations.